Good morning. Today, guess who just showed up? Mr. TJ from Board Archive. Yo, what's yeah. up, dude? What's up, guys? I got no plans for the video yet today, but uh, maybe we'll figure something out. Oh yeah, we're gonna do something fun, for sure. Looking forward to sharing with you Yo. again. All right, so game plan. We are taping for TJ's Board Archive channel. So go over there, check out what we are taping. It's a little carving bit and what makes the uh, boards good for carving and stuff. That said, one of the topics I know we'll end up talking about is any board can carve, rocker, camber, traction spikes, non-traction spikes, uh, but there are some characteristics that are preferred for carving, but that's it. Harrison here is on a snow skate, and he just like said, hey, I love your channel, whatever, and, uh, but he actually really carves on this thing, so let's prove that you don't even need a, any crazy sp different specific board to be able to put your board, on, tilt your board on edge, and make those nice clean carved tracks lines. So yeah, let's do it, Harrison. Let me say I'm gonna miss you this winter. Dude, Shit, you were riding here, we were riding a handful together, helping each other tape our own vids and collabing with, featuring each other sometimes, and man, now that you're in Whistler, I'm not gonna see much of you, boo. I know, man, it's a bummer. Miss Colorado, so stoked to be out here for early season, but we'll be back, we'll and be back for good. sure. We'll get some collabs. And now. it is the best early season conditions I've ever seen. I know, Colorado's so lucky right now, man. This morning is some of the best turns I've had, and a very very long time um but yeah what are your plans for the winter then where are you traveling you've been traveling non-stop it's insane yeah it's been a wild year man so uh heading back up to whistler we'll be up there for uh till till next year basically got plans to go to japan revelstoke jackson uh those are for sure and then back to Colorado as well. So still a lot to come this year. Looking forward to it. I know you've snowboarded a long time, loved it for a long time, but did you ever imagine you'd be traveling the world snowboarding? No, I never did. Yeah, even just, yeah, the beginning of last year just blew my mind and then it just continued. So Good. I'm, I'm so Big up so to lucky. Snowboard Pro Camp for, uh, you know, because that's kind of the end that you had and boom, and absolutely, now you're doing it and living there. Absolutely, huge shout out Snowboard Pro Camp, Kevin. Kevin, what up? Yep, check out Snowboard Pro Camp for sure, guys. Yep. So many quality videos on there. Cool, hey, let's make some turns. You. Uh, with you traveling so much now what's been the worst part and the best part of all these places oh man well i think uh the best part has definitely been just being able to explore new cultures see how they do things in other parts of the world uh meeting people everywhere as well has been awesome shout out everybody and the worst 
I think it's probably uh, the jet lag. The jet lag is can be really rough. We got some snow guns. Awful views. Terrible views. Just oh. awful. Woo! I'm not happy about it, but TJ's got a flight to catch, so he's gonna be out in a second. But uh, one last thing uh, he didn't get in his video talking about boards for carving was uh, the topic of directional versus twins. I obviously ride switch a ton. I want anything I do switch to feel just and look just like I do regular. So that's why pure twin and centered on it works for me. For uh, my experience with the Donica Incline and Flux, the very uh, directional boards with a small to large BSR, um, those ride beautifully going forward, but switch stance then just feel off. You have way more experience riding directional boards with short tapered tails and uh, some weird tail shapes and stuff. So what's your experience on those type of boards been? Yeah, definitely. So I think personally what I've noticed riding a few boards like that is uh, the directional features like a setback stance, maybe a slight taper, or even like a directional camber. Um, I think that they, they help set a bit of a stronger edge, at least you know when you're not on a super wide snowboard, I think that, that helps out. But on the flip side, like Ryan was saying, if you go switch, uh, the turn feels quite different. So most of the time I've noticed that when you're going switch on that style of snowboard, it's like a bit of a tighter turn. You can definitely still ride switch on a directional board, but if you're laying out turns at full speed, you want to be going in the proper direction. So uh, if you want to be carving like Ryan, make sure you're on a twin. Cool. And I could just imagine, I'm looking at these trees, and I could imagine a short board, because I, mean, I wouldn't be riding tight trees switch stance. A short board with, you know, that could be potentially pretty fun. Oh, definitely. Yeah, the shorter tail actually makes it uh, uh, quite maneuverable as well, yep. so they tend to be pretty fun in the yep. trees also. Because when I rode that 210 centimeter board a couple years ago, I mean, I could not, even though it wasn't super wide or anything, I could not imagine taking that through tight trees. It's just so oh much edge gosh. and, you know, it's just too much to handle. That's massive. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, thank you for meeting up with me today. I wish we had more time out here. Me too, man. Yeah, it was great getting some turns in with you, Ryan. Yeah, pleasure shredding with you, my man. You. Check out his channel, link in the description. Thank you for watching, happy shredding, and of course, kapla! kapla. All right, got Ryan's jacket on. Gonna go for those smooth, laid out, gliding carves. The biggest challenge is gonna be trying not to boot out, but let's go for it. You What'd you think? Oh man, this is a game changer. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I could feel the board kicking out a little bit, but yeah, stoked on it. Definitely glad. A side slip for the fans? Oh, he's got the form. Woo! Hard to stop taping. Uh, TJ, would you do me a favor and send me one of your board archive stickers? Absolutely, man. You know it. Thank you. got you. it. Hey, and if you want a sticker, ooh, I got some for sale now. There is the mountain logo. Next level Whoa. mountain logo sticker packs for sale. Link in description. Whoa. Oh, it comes with one of those yeah. too. Yeah. You're flying out tomorrow today? I'm, I gotta be at the airport. Alone.